Okay, so you figured out that a career in investment banking is for you or a career in finance in general, but you don't have a finance background. What do you do? Well, this was actually my exact situation. So I can tell you from experience that not having a finance background is 100% not a problem. One thing that the senior bankers in our team told me quite early on is that banking really is an apprenticeship type job in that when it comes to banking and knowing what to do, a lot of it is just learning by seeing and learning by doing. A term that we use quite a lot in this bank, which I really, really like, is the fact that you're going to learn through osmosis. So that's why when it comes to the application process and stuff like that, from what I've heard from, from my own conversations, it's more about who's a teachable person and who's willing to learn. So 1000%, don't let not having a finance background stop you from pursuing this kind of career. If you find that there's a certain concept or you know a few things that don't make sense to you that are very finance technical, then all you have to do is ask someone and they are always going to give time to you to explain whatever you know, is not understood. So whether or not you have a finance background won't hurt you. But I would say that from my experience, the most important things are just the ability to, to be teachable and always being willing to learn. Now, I wanna talk about how we as workers sometimes define ourselves. I recently read an article talking about a concept called the enmeshment trap. And it was a really interesting read, but I thought that the principles really relate to anyone looking to work in investment banking, or let's just say any kind of city job where you'll be working longer hours than usual. It basically talks about how sometimes as humans, what we choose to tie our self-worth to is ultimately not good for us. When you're working any job, but especially a job where you're working longer than usual hours, it's really easy for us to let that job define who we are. And simply because it takes up a significant portion of our lives. At the same time, in our society, even when meeting new people, one of the first things that we share about ourselves is what we do for a job. It's just normal. But they explained that the problem with tying our intrinsic value as a human being to something like a job is that by doing this, our feelings of self-worth are ultimately going to fluctuate. And the exact same thing when we tie our self-worth to things like money or our physical appearance. I think we all need to understand earlier on that as a human being, you are intrinsically valuable. Personally, I think the key here is to try and center ourselves on things that are unchanging and independent of other people. That could mean centering yourself on a set of principles that you believe in or on simply just being a good person. Because in reality, we could all lose our jobs tomorrow, but no circumstance or situation can ever hold us from living up to the standards that we set for ourselves. Okay guys, so we're currently at Shoreditch and we're about to play um, a football match. You've got Morgan Stanley here, you've got City here, you've got Goldman Sachs, so it's almost like a battle of the banks. We've got the guys over here, we've got four on four, so let's go.
Jump! Yeah, that's it! Hey, back to gear! Back to Yeah, so we're done with the football now. We're gonna get some lunch and I guess that wraps it up. So, see you guys next time. Boom. Oh. oh. Oh, he's going to kick his shoe off. <laughs>